Peace. And thank fast. Just thought about the reason why, uh, you know, we triggering each other with uh, our spiritual growth right now. A lot of us, you know, we coming in each other's presence and, you know, we activating these energies, you know, certain energies where it's like, fuck, you know, like here it is where you go around somebody and all of a sudden the vibration of jealousy pop up. And say, for instance, you're a person that you don't never look at nobody on no, I wish I had what they had. Or, you know, like you're never really on no super jealous vibes, but yet you feel yourself going through this jealous energy right now. But it's just being activated and brought up to the forefront. Because again, uh, whether it's through past lives and things of this nature, uh, we have tapped into all these different, you know, types of, uh, you know, being like being jealous, being mad, angry, all these different things. But uh, back to the thing, we're activating so the God within us is, uh, like say, for instance, the godly presence is basically transmuting energies within each other. So say, for instance, if I'm a person who likes to lie, like uh, I like to lie, but let's just say, do my life, you know, of course, growing away from it, whatever your case may be. Let's just say again, for example, I'm a person who likes to lie. And they got another uh, star being who, who, uh, who likes to be too nice. You know what I'm saying? When they come into each other's range, because they fence the, the one who likes to be nice all the time, uh, you know, dealing with that problem, you know, he don't have the same problem as the person who's dealing with, you know, uh, lying all the time. So, so say for instance, like when, when they come in each other's presence, the person who says, uh, the person who lies all the time, the, the truthfulness in that other being is gonna, you know, gonna shine the light on that, that energy of that person that, you know, likes to lie all the time and vice versa, the person who likes to lie all the time, you know, uh, although they may like to lie all the time, they, they not overly nice. So they, you know, they on point in that area. So for the person that like to be overly nice, you know, they going, that, that energy is going to be tested and, and, and have a light shined on it by the person who likes to lie a lot. You know what I'm saying? And again, I just use examples for the best of uh, my ability. But basically, again, uh, like if you're a procrastinator, uh, and, and, and there's going to be, a, a, you know, a mirror reflection of, you know, a, a, a star being, a fellow star being, a soul fam being that are coming your your resonance and, and they don't procrastinate. So when they in your realm, you know what I'm saying, that energy within them, that God energy that don't procrastinate within them is going to be like, it's going to fucking bother the procrastinator in you. You know what I'm saying? Because another thing too, picture ourselves as just having a bunch of little conscious consciousness or more so just a bunch of different little beings inside of us. You know, just that's why they create like these archetypes like the Power Rangers or these little stories where like you got the, the, either the dwarves, got like you got grumpy, happy, this and that, or like the Care Bears, you got sunshine and this and that, you know what I'm saying? But like the reason why they always create this because that realm in essence exists within us. You know, they got a, they do have a part, uh, uh, a piece of consciousness within me that, that's capable of being jealous. There is a, a part of me that, that, that likes eating meat. There is a part of me that just rather eat, you know what I'm saying? Like there's little small compartments of, you know, just different vibes of consciousness within us. Matter of fact, I spoke a little bit on that uh, with the uh, Book of Enoch and the 49 angels, you know, like the seven times seven, the uh, seven different angels with the seven different planets, you know, and, and making like 49 different uh, you know, angels, meaning angles of light or angles of consciousness, you know, uh, and, and, and that whole aspect, again, all those realms existing inside of it. But right now, again, we're triggering each other, uh, you know, triggering energies within each other but it's bringing it up to the lights to know that we, you know, should be eliminating and fixing the situation. Like say, for instance, uh, me dealing with getting over being uh, like over analytical about a lot of things. Like people say something, I just tend to probably overanalyze it. And, and so people who don't overanalyze, you know, or, you know, certain beings that don't overanalyze is coming in my realm to test that energy, you know what I'm saying? Or, and I say test it, but to, uh, you know, to shine a light on it. Cause basically what it's getting like, like picture, again, reason why 
I'm, I'm trying to put it into words. So, like, say, for instance, the reason why, you know, say, for instance, a person who carries a certain light, you know, they just being them. They're not trying to be better than you or, like, claiming to be better than you. They're just being their greatest versions. And you know how people who, uh, you know, people see that and might get jealous and feel like, oh, look at them trying to be all that and things of this nature, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's how... You know, the ego energy is as far as, like, it gets uncomfortable. Like, how certain people get uncomfortable around people who are comfortable with themselves. You know, that's the same way the, the little ego, like, these different little ego perspectives that's still in us, these little dense ego perspectives, you know, they, they get all insecure and scared whenever that godly presence that could expose them comes in their realm, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, and literally that's how people, you know, because, say, for instance, uh... A Geechee person or whatever like that, you know, they gonna be kind of scared to to go around a conversation with people talking about not being Geechee and spending money and loving life on that level. So they gonna back off. Oh, no, I don't wanna, you know, go that way. And matter of fact, too, if you're fearing being around certain people in certain situations to some, because again, it's fear, false evidence appearing real, fear is being disconnected. Of course, we're cautious of not putting ourselves into harmful, harmful situations but it's different between being cautious from doing that and being fearful of dealing with somebody because most cases if you're fearful of going around somebody or dealing with some situation it's because it's going to expose a certain aspect of your ego so your ego making you scared to deal with the situation so it won't get found out because if you if you deal with that situation it's going to get found out and you're gonna transmute the energy, and you know that that energy won't be allowed to be in the driver's seat anymore, or, or deceptively, you know, uh, you know, trigger you into being in that state of being. You know, so that's very, you know, very, very key and very, very important right now. Uh, also, realizing people who may seem like a, uh, and we talk about agents and you know, different things. Again, everything is starts inside, and. As with, as above, so below. As within, so without. So, you know, everything starts inside, externalizes. But, uh, you know, also seeing that, you know, a lot of your strong lessons too come from dealing with people who, you know, whether they are, you know, your quote unquote em enemy or seem like an enemy in some way, form or fashion. You know, like, you know that that vibe a lot of times is, you know, one of the strongest teachers. You know, that's coming into your realm. You know, is uh, how to handle dealing with certain situations. You know, because another thing too, always important to remember, we should be dealing with situations from a light-hearted perspective. You know, and right now in these times, you know, or just in general, you know, people think, you know, have been socially engineered to think that you gotta actually fight against something to actually, you know, like you gotta put up picket signs and things of this nature when it's deeper than that, you know. It's a, uh, you know, energetic uh, situation going on. So it's more so about you raising your vibration and maintaining your uh, vibrational uh, alignment and, uh, and balance. You know, and therefore by you maintaining your vibrational balance and energy, it's going to spread throughout the environment, you know. So it's really like the whole thing is about us maintaining our now, like maintaining our vibration and and, and, and living in our now, following our soul, or should I say, you know, following our inner guidance, following our heart. You know, stand in alignment with that. But again, just uh, right now we triggering each other, so don't, you know, don't feel like somebody is trying to attack you or things of this nature. Like, as a matter of fact, if you ever feel like you're being attacked, that's because you're not uh, in a, not in alignment with your soul in that moment. Only thing that's gonna feel like it's under attack is an ego, meaning something that identifies with something. You know, that's like, uh, you know, say for instance on some on some God level stuff. You know, like nobody worried about like, oh, if somebody say something about my shoes, let's just say for instance, like, all right, they just shoot. You know what I'm saying? But if I identify with my shoes heavy, if somebody say something about my shoes, I'm like, oh no, I mean, but you know, like. I hear what you're saying, but you know, but Jordan's is a nice shoe though, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that you feel any need to justify or, 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 or hold a stance or a position on something of that nature, that's ego. <laughs> like, just point blank, period. And go check out my uh, video about a hit dog on Holler, because that explains how that ego operates too, you know? It's like, 
Like a hit dog gonna holler like if somebody just saying something general. If you're not identifying, you ain't gonna feel no kind of way. Only reason why people feel some kind of way is because they're identifying with whatever it is. Like if I go to talking about uh, people who don't pay their bills on time, you know, a uh, person who, like say for instance, they got two people that don't pay their bills on time. One of them identify with the fact that they're not paying their bills, and the other one like, uh, fuck it, you know, whatever, whatever. So if I if I make a joke about or I spring up like not pay, paying your bills on time, the, the person who identify with not paying their bills on time, like, well, you know, man, but I I be doing this and I try, you know, they gonna feel some kind of way when that be, you know, when that's said. But the person who like, you know, like, oh yeah, well, shit, sure, you know, whatever it is, what it is, like, you know, they're not identifying and not, you know, holding themselves to just that one position. to do a certain, you know, again, that, that has a certain alignment, may uh, shake up the ego within somebody else, you know what I'm saying, that, that's on the opposite side of uh, you know, that spectrum, and vice versa, you know, again, they got somebody who might, uh, you know, who's in alignment with, let's just say, uh, like saving money, like you, you come across somebody who's in alignment with saving money, when you're not in alignment with it, you know? Because again, everything stems back to fear. Most cases, we don't save money because we, we, we're fearing investing in ourselves or we're fearing that if I do invest in myself, the money ain't gonna come back. Like, everything, when you all, as it, when it all boils down to it, is going back to ego and fear. No reason why somebody trying to oppress and things of that nature because of ego and fear. Like, they, you know, they, Fear, fear changes. You know the what, what, what's opening up right now is divine chaos. And, 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 and if an energy like to control things, then divine chaos is like the devil. To even though it is, you know, again, even though this is the the true essence of things, it's gonna seem like the devil because you know that those beings don't want to deal with that. You know they're fearful of that. That's why every, and I always speak on that, that's why every little villain from a movie always trying to control the world, you know, because he's scared, really. Like, what's funny is as much as you would think, oh, he's a badass, look at the villain trying, he really doing what he doing out of fucking being scary. Like, it's a fearful motherfucker. Scared. <laughs> it's not because he's old, strong, and mighty. Nah, motherfucker pussy. So he's trying to control everything so he don't have to deal with the unknown, you know what I'm saying? And, and, that, and, and that speaks back to the aspect of the, the masculine trying to hold down the feminine energy on a God level. Because the feminine energy on a God level, that primordial, you know, the triple darkness, go check out my video, Snakes on the Plane. You know, that, that, that primordial, Tiamat, Lilith, you know, that divine chaos energy. But to the masculine energy that likes to be logical, you know, the whole reason why a man, a dog is a man's best friend, because he can control it, you know. And it's like, bro, I can't control this woman. Not only I can't control her, but she just is way more powerful than me. Like, that's gonna scare, you know, uh, that masculine energy. You know, when, when it's identifying, and again, that's the thing too, like, because the masculine energy, it's being scared of the feminine energy that's because it's identifying as only the masculine energy which means it's identifying as that so it, 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 it uh by only identifying that as that that means it dies whenever it's not in that identity you know but again that's the whole uh you know, social and spiritual construct of what's going on is you know that that masculine energy Got scared of that, that chaos. <laughs> you know, got scared of mama. It's like, oh no, I gotta try to control things. That whole aspect. Basically, it, you know, I'm not really rambling, but you know, I know we were talking, we were talking about triggers and how we're triggering each other right now. But even
people. And then what I just explained just now, you know, that's all. Man, what this plant got to do? I don't know. I'm I'm put this in my video since I'm right here, but this little plant then came to me more than once. It dropped in my, in front of me in my past. So, you know, as a matter of fact, little things like that be little signs, you know. I'm trying to let you know something. But again, we are going through these triggers. Just remember to stay lighthearted. Remember that. If something is getting exposed about you, like if you're feeling super angry or mad or like feeling like somebody coming at you, that's because you're identifying with that ego. You got to sit back and let that go. Because now, you know, again, it's getting more... It's becoming crunch time. This is a better way to, you know, not trying to uh, create no fear or anything of that nature. You know, uh, you know cause just trust, you know, do your best. Make sure every day, you know, in every moment, every now, that you're constantly working to be in the now and, you know, and transmute these heavy egoic energies, you know, you know getting out of the mind. We could use the mind, we could use logic in alignment with our soul and our spirit. You know, that whole aspect. feminine rising matter of fact since I'm thinking about it you know that's why I too this movie coming out June 7th the uh, Dark Phoenix Rising because they're trying to make you scared of the divine feminine energy that's rising up so they socially they socially engineering the masses to be scared of you know that energy that truly is you know awakening that's why too all these movies like Star Wars like Princess Leia where it's like about the queen like the queen or it's the woman who's over the rebellion you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why it's like that and they always paint that picture because they talking about what's going on right now. It's like this republic in America, and not just America, but you know, across this realm, you know, across this physical plane we call Earth, you know, they overly masculinize things. You know, they got this republic, you know, kind of like the Sith Lords from Star Wars, you know, that whole aspect, you know, that, that sorcery, that masculine energy, because you notice that in Star Wars, there's always a male, like the man, Man is the villain. You know, there's a reason for that. You know, Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen. You know, like it's, you know, uh, Game of Thrones, you got that queen that control them dragons. You know, you got the Phoenix on X Men. You know, this goes on and all these different, you know. And again, remember, all these different stories and things, like, come from, you know, ancient, you know, our ancient beginnings, you know what I'm saying? So there's no new stories in that sense. They just kind of keep trying to chop up the same little archetypical stories, you know, in that sense. But, you know, that's why, again, they, they do these things and go check out my videos talking about social engineering and how and subconscious programming, how they work with movies, you know, and get an understanding of what's going on because, again, you know, of course, you're not trying to overly pay attention to the external realm, but also, you know, uh, you want to be informed about certain things, you know, uh, going on, so you can better know how to, you know, carry yourself. Again, kind of like with that vibe of if you don't know your past, then you don't know where you're going. We're not dwelling in the past, you know, but there's parts of our past that's relevant to our now, you know what I'm saying? There's some of these little information, you know, some information that uh that is relevant to our now you know uh, on that level but, oh yeah and that's again back to that whole vibe though phoenix rising vibe just to you know make that divine feminine energy look you know evil same thing i brought up like with uh cults like uh they created again and when you look, check out my videos on social engineering and you know as a matter of fact uh I got a book, uh, I forgot the name of it, by Jay Dyer, but I spoke on it in my other videos about Hollywood and, you know, that uh, whole social engineering vibe. But, you know, they, they always constantly, they paint these pictures and create these situations, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, to basically, you know, in essence, to control this realm, you know, because if our subconscious minds create this realm, then yeah, I'm a person who controls the subconscious minds. I created this room, you know what I'm saying? Point blank period. There ain't even no 
I mean, it, it, it is a, a science that goes deeper, but it's simply that, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit. Motherfuckers uh, manifest things with their mind, especially those with a strong pineal, you know, an open pineal organ, because it's an organ, not a gland, because it creates DMT and secretes it. So it's not a gland. But, uh, yeah, that, that whole vibe, you know, of, uh, again, trying to fear monger. That's what I was going to say, like, with uh, Colt, C-U-L-T-S, because I know uh, Louisiana, you probably can't tell what I'm saying. Colts, like the, the football team or whatever, whatever. But anyway, <laughs> like, that's the whole reason why they brought up, like, with the Maryland Manson and all these little Colts and stuff. Again, the media. Who runs the media? You know, they, they putting certain things on the media to, you know, to program you. So, again, and I got a video on, on the cult vibe and breaking it down so I ain't gonna go deep, but basically, you know, they presented this, this cult-like vibe in a derogatory manner because they knew that shit. These beings are gonna wake up on this plane of existence and they gonna start being, you know, like a community and tapping into these certain energies. As a, again, uh, what is Wild Wild Country with Osho, but again, I speak on that on my, on my video. That's the whole vibe with that. But I digress. <laughs> Again, working through these energies, consider it a blessing that your ego is being exposed. Now, only only reason to not look at it as a blessing is if you want to stay in this realm of reality. If you want to stay in this realm of reality, then by all means, you know, uh, Stay, you know, stay the same. Stay stagnant. Don't grow. You know, again, I repeat that. If you're trying to stay in this matrix, but most of us are trying to transition out of this matrix and incarnate into a different, you know, realm instead of reincarnating into this. One. So you know, the choice is yours. But another important thing to remember too, though, is that you. We gotta, you gotta do the work of eliminating uh, the egoic mind and having the egoic mind in the driver's seat. Because again, once you, like, it's out of your control once you transition. Like when you transition, whatever energy you were dealing with, like if your ego was tied to some shit and you didn't subconsciously program yourself to know, to detach from that shit, your, your soul automatically gonna have that energy of one come back to this bitch. So, you know, just, you know, not scaring nobody. Just let you know that it's very important. So, you know, eliminate these uh, heavy aspects of our ego. That's it. <laughs> peace, peace. And now, of course, not too far in the future, not too far in the past. Right now, peace, peace.